Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to talk about how to find fast shipping products on AliExpress. In this video we will talk about how to find fast shipping products on AliExpress. We will also demonstrate all the steps needed to create a shipment on it and we will also reveal a shipping method that you can use to get your product delivered faster and cheaper. So watch this video till the end to better understand all these steps. After finalizing a product to buy on AliExpress at the checkout page, you will sometimes notice that the expected delivery time will be approximately a month, while other times it might show more than a month, which is truly annoying and frustrating. So most of the time, users stop buying from AliExpress just because of the high expected delivery time, because almost all products in AliExpress are shipped from a China warehouse and they are shipped with the standard delivery methods, which will obviously take more time to deliver. So to better avoid this high delivery time, we recommend you to select only those products which are dispatched from a US warehouse or else use your own shipping method for the products which have a high delivery time. Thus, we recommend you to use the UPS shipping method for the delivery of such products. This is the home page of UPS's shipping website. First of all, you need to set your country and language. Click on this drop down at the top right corner and on the top, you will see the default country and language. To change it, click on the select another country or territory button and you will be taken to this map page. In the left side, you will see the world map and in the right side, you will see the continents menu with its countries in the drop down. Now to select your country, click on your continent on the map and the relevant continent menu will get expanded on the right side. Suppose you want to select United States, then click on North America on the map and the menu for North America will get expanded on the right side. Here, along with the country's name, you will also see its language. So select United States from the list and you will be redirected to the homepage of UPS. Now on the top right corner, you can see that the country and language has been changed. On the homepage here on the top, you will see four menus which are shipping, tracking, business solutions and support. Below from here you can track your existing shipment. Just enter the tracking number in the box and click on the track button. You might be wondering what are the benefits of using UPS delivery for your dropshipping business. So here are a few benefits of using it. First of all, you can save up to 50% on the shipping cost when you ship with the promo code DELIVER. It means you can make more money from your dropshipping business. The next benefit is the total visibility and control. You can save more time with tracking and shipping tools from UPS My Choice for Business. You can monitor and control every moment of your shipment from your dashboard. And last but not the least, you can reach customers faster with weekend services. Shipments can be delivered to your customers a day earlier with UPS pickups and deliveries on Saturdays. Now let's demonstrate how you can create a shipment for AliExpress. Click on the shipping tab at the top navigation bar and then click on the create a shipment button. For sending a shipment by UPS courier, you can create a shipment in just six simple steps which are where what, how, details, payment, and review. So let's begin. This is the first step. We are going to use pseudo information for creating this shipment. From this drop down, select the country or territory from where you are shipping. Now here enter the AliExpress seller's name or company's name. Next enter the contact name, which is optional. Next enter the complete address. Then enter the seller's email address and lastly enter the seller's phone number. If you tick this box, then the status updates on this shipment will be sent to the email provided above. 
and if you want to use a different return address for this shipment, enable this button and then enter the return address. Once you have filled all the required information, click on the continue button. Now on the next page, you need to enter the complete address of the receiver. From this drop down, select the country or territory of the receiver. Now here enter the receiver's name or company's name. Next enter the contact name which is optional. Next enter the complete address. Then enter the receiver's email address which is optional. And lastly enter the receiver's phone number which is also optional. Once you have filled all the required information, click on the continue button. This is step 2 in which you need to specify what kind of packaging are you using. For shipment, you can either use your own packaging or you can use UPS's packaging, but that might be chargeable. In this step, first select the packaging type from this drop down menu. Then here enter the approximate weight of the package. And if your parcel is not fully boxed in cardboard, then you can tick this box. Now if you have the exact dimensions of the box, then here you can enter its length, width and height, but this is optional. Below you will see the loss and damage protection section. You will get covered up to $100 at no charge. Here enter the total parcels value in USD. All other fields are optional, so scroll down and click on the continue button. This is the third step in which you have to specify how would you like to ship. First choose the estimated ship date from the calendar. Below you will see when would you like it delivered. There are three ways of delivery. First is fastest in which the shipment will be dispatched by UPS the next day air early. Second is recommended in which the shipment will be dispatched by UPS next day air saver. And third is lowest cost in which the shipment will be dispatched by UPS ground. Select your shipping option and the relevant shipping services will be selected automatically. And then lastly click on the continue button. This is the fourth step in which you need to specify what are you shipping. Here enter the product's name. We are entering books. You can also visit this link to see the list of prohibited items. Below there are some optional fields. If you wish you can tick the boxes and then finally click on the continue button. This is the fifth step in which you need to specify how would you like to pay. UPS supports two types of payments, credit card and PayPal. We are selecting PayPal. And if you have a promo code, you can apply it here and then finally click on the review button. On the next page, you need to check and verify all the details. And if everything is correct, you need to click on this pay and get label button. You will be redirected to PayPal's website to complete the payment. And once the payment is successfully done, you will get the shipment label and it will be scheduled for pickup. With this, we have completed our tutorial on how to find fast shipping products on AliExpress. This brings this video to an end. We truly hope you've benefited from it. If you have any suggestions or want us to make a video on any specific topic, feel free to comment below. We will see you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed to our channel.